We're joined by Tim Mason, CEO of Eagle Mountain Mining. Tim, thanks for your time. Thanks, David. Cheers. US-based copper developer. Yep. How's the project going? What have you been focused on and where are you at? Uh, so our key focus is on our Oracle Ridge Copper project, um, which is in a belt where you get big projects. So like it's got the right geology. We, we share a lot of those similarities. Uh, we've got a high grade scar near the surface and that's really what we've been focusing on. Because like this project was last mined in the mid 90s at a pretty modest rate. And we sort of see the benefit that, you know, we could restart, we're confident that we could restart on the same basis, but you know, we're planning to restart at a much larger scale. So really make those economics hum. Uh, so we've been focusing on drilling for the last couple of years. We've been having some great results. Even recently, we've been getting you know, 30 metres at over 2.5% copper. Like, nothing to be sneezed at. Like, really, really positive results. Uh, so we're, they're being fed into a new resource update um, to underpin a mine plan at a larger scale. But we're also looking at how we can further enhance the economics by using technology that wasn't available back in the mid-90s when it was last mined uh, to yeah, a, improve the, the economics, lower our cash cost and have a good benefit from an environmental uh, sense as well. Talk about environmental, ESG is an area of focus for a lot of funders and a lot of investors. How are you implementing ESG practices into your operations? Yeah, look, that, that's a great question. And I think, and not to be rude to a lot of other uh, players in, in the industry, it's a bit of a box ticking exercise, but what we're looking to do is, is actually fundamentally different. We, our resource is located up on a hill and we're high grade. So we plan to use that gravity to our advantage in a whole raft of different mining and processing and energy requirements to, to lower our actual energy. You know, you're not having trucks labouring up from a depth. They're running downhill, use battery electric equipment. We're looking at pumped hydro systems. Uh, so it has the dual benefit of lower costs and having that ESG benefit, which is really exciting. Previously a mining operation, how does permitting work as you look to develop this project? Yeah, so that the permitting gives us great confidence that it was mined in the 90s, so it was permitted at that time, so you know, that's, that's fabulous. There are some permits that we're going to need to require, but some of those we can't do until we've really nutted out what the, the mine plan, the operation, you know, how many trucks we're going to be running, where they're going to be running, uh, so we can do put our permit applications in. But we're also applying for some permits uh, now that we know that we're going to need and aren't reliant on the mine plan necessarily. What should investors be focused on over the next six to 12 months? What are the highlights they should be looking for? Yeah, so we've been getting some delivering great drilling and channel sampling results. They're gonna be fed into a new chalk update. So that's one. We're doing a lot of work around metallurgy uh, and mine planning as well to really enhance the economics, which will be all be fed into a scoping study along with developing some of these permits as well. A clear strategy, a tier one jurisdiction, a exciting asset ready for development. Look forward to following the progress. Tim, thanks for your time. Thanks David, appreciate it.